The topic of best games of all time tends to be a pretty big deal. I mean, sure, you have Breath of the Wild, Mario 64, and many others that are heralded as some of the best games gaming has ever pushed out to the market. But then there's this one. A game that, in my opinion, came completely out of nowhere and took the world by its surprise for, for its lovable characters, choice-based system of fighting or sparing, and a game that had a soundtrack that, let's be honest, slaps hard harder than any soundtrack from the Monogatari series. It's the game that revolutionized what it means to be a choose-your-own-adventure, a game that spawned a quote, totally legit sequel from the creator that has Fox in his name, it is time to play Undertale, one of the greatest games ever made. We begin with what would be considered a cutscene probably from the NES era, showing the plot of the entire game basically in the form of like four screens. It's believed, it's, it's believed that these weirdos with sticks had a war, and well, I mean, let's be honest, humanity kind of won, and the monsters kind of pieced out into the underground. It also turns out that this human went to this mountain looking for, quote, something, and kind of fell, fell into the mountain hole, due to the infamous character falls to set up the plot cliche. Hey look, it's me when I can't think of a video idea, that's pretty cool. It's honestly, this game has a pretty basic control scheme for a game in 2015, because I mean, let's be real, pretty much every game in the market had a pretty crazy controller scheme, for, even though it was 2015. We now get to choose our fallen human's name, and well, let's be completely honest, there are some pretty interesting name choices. For example, if you're trying to name yourself Sans, he, Sans will just straight up tell you no. Well, darn, fine then, jeez. Oh, Undyne will tell you to get her own name, or get your own name rather, and Papyrus will tell you that he's okay with it. But don't worry guys, I have the perfect name that nobody will even see coming, not even Asriel. It is legend. Alright, let's go. We awake in a field of yellow flowers. Are we already foreshadowing already? Like, good lord. Then we meet the bane of our existence, Flowey. A talking flower that generally just wants to kill you. But, you know, at least he tries to throw some friendly net pel friendliness pellets at me, okay? You know, that's cool. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, I see. So those were bullets. Oh, and you're holding a gun. Alrighty then. G good meeting you, Flowey. Good meeting you. Suddenly, the legend that is Goat Mom shows up, and thus begins probably the mom jokes. Also, pretty banging music, by the way. We then find this really easy puzzle that Toriel just kind of solves for us. Like, I'm, I give me options here, woman. I can solve puzzles. Like, good lord. Also, her labeling is like super, super precise because she's like the Karen of labeling. Like, you don't have to label it. Just put one arrow, not like 17. And now it's time to find this dummy. Let's go! So, uh, you, you like jazz? I don't like, like, this is, this is kind of boring. Oh snap, it's a froggy, let's get it! How you doing? Jesus, Toriel, like me and Franklin over here were trying to have like a chat, like you didn't have to scare him off, like good lord. Bonding. Toriel then does the worst thing yet and makes us walk down a hallway alone. I'm not really sure why this is hard, but I mean, I don't know, parenting issues? I don't really, I don't know. Toriel then leaves to attend to some quote, business, and we're left on our own. I then proceed to steal every single piece of candy in this jar, and I make it fall over. And now, I'm a monster. I mean, clearly, look at what I've done. I then find a talking rock who, for whatever reason, doesn't want to move, so we make him give him a workout to do so. I didn't know Dwayne The Rock Johnson was in this game, I mean, Toby Fox, how'd you make, how much money did you pay for that deal? Then we meet the third major character of the game, and one of my favorites. This guy is literally 
a ghost, but I guess it works because I gotta cheer him up to cheer him on to make him happy. All right, cool. I then find this ribbon, but not before being attacked by the Eye of Sauron for some unknown reason and having to look at it. Ew, I saw my past, that's really weird. I then pressed on several buttons to open the way further into the ruins. Yes, Toriel, I walked here. What do you think? What do you what do you think I was gonna do? I wasn't just gonna stand there because I wanted to make sure I could get here and walk here to tell you that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Ah yes, home. It's such a peaceful piece of music, as well as this house. Not I was I was talking I was talking about the house, definitely, 100 percent Toriel's diary literally is just a joke book. Like, Jesus Christ. I then decide to ask Toriel how to leave the ruins, because, well, we, I mean, we gotta progress somehow. She then gets, quote, pissed, and runs downstairs to Daddy's basement to, quote, do something. She's gonna destroy the exit to the ruins so that I can't escape, because, I don't know, I'm really starting to think she wants just me to be her puppet. So, naturally, you know what's gonna happen next. We then spare Toriel, say our goodbyes in her chest as we cry, and then head to the door. And then Flowey shows up because of course, saying that, well, you know, we sucked, GG, get wrecked. Yeah, gee, I didn't know I was playing Undertale made by Toby Fox. Yeah, I definitely didn't know that at all. You know, I, I, good job telling me again, that was cool. After walking through the snow, a shaded figure walks up to us, and asks to shake his hand. Oh god, it's this guy. We then hide behind the quote, conveniently shaped lamp, and listen in on the boy's conversation. Doing, he's doing these jokes, are you serious? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna call that number, I'm sorry. Comedy. How do you see the rock before me? I mean, I know it was off screen a second ago, but like, I'm in front of the rock. How do you not see me first? Also, Jesus Christ, what is that thing? He apparently wants us to say that he makes good jokes. Well, I mean, I, I guess that's okay, I guess. Now it's also a dog that smokes dog treats, and now we gotta not move his through his blue attacks. And then he goes completely insane when I pet him. All right, cool, I guess. The pirates is out here giving the solutions for our puzzles for free because he's stupid but also stupid in a, in, a, in a lovable way. All right, let's be real. I then meet the greatest dog in history with the ability to make his neck grow to a height so massive that it begs the question of what physics even are. I'm questioning what, why this is in the game, but I mean, hey, it's cool. Also, I am now blind. Sans, fetch me a doctor. Maybe Dr. Alpha, maybe Alpha specifically, so that we can watch anime together. I mean, that'd be cool. Aww. What up, losers? It's me, the greater dog, here to diss on you. Let's get it. Also, why is that same dog a trap? Don't hurt the dog, please. I might have to call, like, the government.
Welcome to Snowden Town, the place where literally every Gary's Mod hide and seek happens, and it's also where the place I will commit mass genocide in, in about 5 seconds. Now, however, I think it's appropriate to end the video by facing off with the one man that I know will be exciting. Papyrus. Yeah, I ain't no threat to you. I ain't no threat to you. You ain't damaging me. Oh my god, what? Oh, oh, I see. You have messed with the wrong panda, my friend. Cue the music. Let's go. To conclude, Undertale is a game that broke the industry wide open. It showed the world what indie games could do when given the chance. It spawned its quote, totally legitimate sequel, Deltarune to be made, has spawned loads of fan series, merch, and clubs across the world. It is, a, it is a loved franchise that has been recognized as one of gaming's greatest treasures, and it's a game that I play from time to time as a breather for its simplistic gameplay full of love, characters, and of course, fun. And with that, I'm gonna actually go play more of it. So, my name is Panda Power Sauce. Remember to stay saucy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.